Hey guys, it is me again. Today is uh, what, Thursday, July the 26th. Makes it day 208 on our uh, David Bread Project 2012. I guess you guys can tell I sound a little bit better tonight, I think. I'm getting better, guys, just slowly but surely. Uh, hang on, guys. I hate to do this, but... I just had to take some medicine, and uh, if you guys have ever took had to take any kind of, you know, uh, what are they called, uh, pills that are in the plastic, I guess like a gel cap form or whatever, but a lot of times when I take them, uh, uh, they feel like they're getting stuck in my throat on the way down, so I'm getting that, and that's kind of what they those just done, so I had to rinse them on down, but anyway guys, I got to try to be quick tonight. Because number one, I'm wearing this big bright white shirt, and I know that will brighten everything up and make the the file bigger. Plus, I'm running a little bit behind, farther behind, not than usual, but I but what but what I have been this week, you know, I've been pretty good. I've been getting these things in around midnight, a little bit later than that tonight. So I'm gonna try to make it quick. Uh. So yeah. Anyway, guys, as always, it's good to be here. Uh, I just got to say, guys, I thank you all. I love you all for everything that you do. Um, just keep praying for us, guys. T this has, no joke, this has been probably the worst uh, week business-wise we've had. I'll be honest, I don't know if we had any any uh, weeks this bad back in the winter. I mean, it's just, it's, it's died this week, uh, which it's rained every day, and rain always tends to drive business away. Uh, plus, you know, like I told you guys last night, school's getting ready to start back, and I mean, I think that's more of it than, of course, everybody's hollering, oh, the mines are shutting down, and well, I mean, I know it's not near as much money, but most of these guys, even the ones that have been laid off, they're drawing unemployment right now, most of them will get to draw it for a year, at least, so, you know, it's one of those deals, I don't think really the money has stopped flowing because of that yet, it slows down this time every year, right before school starts back. You know, but just pray for us, guys. We got this one truck, and that's I want you to pray, pray specifically about this. <clears throat> We've worked on it all week. We've had to replace every brake line on the truck, hard lines, the soft, the rubber lines going to the calipers. Uh, We've had to replace one wheel bearing on it because one of the wheel speed sensors was out making the ABS kick in. We get everything done. Uh, it blows another brake hose out, one we didn't put on it. He had to put that brake hose on it today. Drove the truck. The right front wheel speed sensor was making the ABS kick on before. I mean, I drove it. I, I scanned the truck. I watched the live data. It was the right front. I checked it 10 times. Well, we put the right front in it. The other boy drove the truck and come back and said, it's still doing it. The ABS is still kicking in. I'm like, well, there's no way. And I drove the truck, sure enough. Check it with the computer. Now the left one is showing to be shortened out. It, it's showing, and they don't really short out, but they drop. When you get down to under 10 miles an hour, they drop down to zero, and you, the truck thinks they be, that you're locking a brake up, so it kicks the ABS in. So anyway, you know, a, a whole wheel bearing is like 160 bucks, and you know, we this guy's bill is already pretty high just with parts on it. Because I mean, like I said, we've had to rebuild, we've had to rebuild the whole braking system of the truck pretty much. So. Anyway, Dad come up with the idea to just order the sensor because the sensor is $55 or $60, or something like that, instead of $160. But I'm not dead sure that just the sensor will fix it. I'm, I'm hoping that there's no burn problem. So anyway, what I'm getting at, guys, if we can get this truck fixed tomorrow and get paid for this truck, it may keep us, it may, it may keep this week from being a disaster. So just pray for that, guys, that we get it fixed, that they come pick it up, that they pay for it. Pray that the Lord will send us something else tomorrow, guys. He'll send us some kind of miracle tomorrow, you know, to to, to boost our week up because we sure need it this week. But that's not what I'm gonna what I'm gonna talk about tonight, guys. Uh, I have something else I wanted to hit real quick before we get into a word, uh, brother Woody. I thank you for your email, and uh, and guys, I just I want to share this with you a little bit because and I know brother Woody won't mind because you know. We got to share our experiences, you know, and our, our rights and our wrongs and everything else, you know, in the kingdom of God to help each other. That's what it's about. There's no egos here. There's no, well, I was right and you was wrong. Um, but 
uh, anyway, me and, that's one thing me and Brother Woody have always kind of, I guess, not seen dead eye to eye on is the does God actually punish us sometimes or does God actually, you know, does he, and you know, sometimes it's not God punishing himself, but sometimes what God will do, I think, and well, I know he does, I've seen him do it, he will let circumstances of the world challenge you and 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 just you know make you you know uh, make you have to be a better person you know that they, they try you they they you know they build character they build strength well uh anyway uh brother woody by his own admission he kind of never seen you know he never um he never really thought i was right on that you know and uh he wrote me an email today, and like I said, brother, if if this does make you mad by me telling telling everybody, brother, you know I, I'm not doing it. You know I'm doing it to, te to teach us all something, and I, I'm just you know I, you know I don't you know I'm not gloating. But brother Woody just sent me an email basically saying, you know I'm sorry, you know this is one thing that I've never agreed with you on. And he said, you know, I was reading in my Bible today, and he said, I come across a verse, and he said, it just, you know, it, it blew me away, it clicked. And it, it's Proverbs, and what it was, guys, something else, he was talking about Proverbs 3, 5, and brother, I, I want to just, I want to congratulate you on having the friend that just come to the Lord, and brother, you, you're being blessed. I mean, you're going to be blessed by doing what you're doing, helping that friend, uh, but you're, you know, anymore, it's odd to be put in that situation. We see so few people be getting that are getting saved now, that you really are, brother. You're being blessed by, by having that opportunity to serve him is what I'm trying to say. And and I know that you'll do it. I know you'll 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 do everything you can for him. But Brother Woody was reading in Proverbs three and Proverbs three five and three six, mainly he you know, and uh, you know, three five of course is trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all the ways, verse 6, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Well, this is what Brother Woody, Woody was reading. And it goes into what he found there in verse 11. This is what he come across that kind of, you know, opened his eyes. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth or chasteth. I don't, I don't know which version I'm reading here, guys. I don't know if it's King James or what. Uh... For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. So basically what this is saying, guys, just like a parent, you know, just like a parent, when when your kid, if your kid's getting ready to, if they're out here doing something and they're getting ready to step out, let's say they're out here playing and they're having a good time and and you see them heading for a, a big hornet's nest, you know, heading out toward, don't know no better, never been in a hornet's nest, don't know what a hornet is going out towards that hornet's nest. And you know you go pull your kid away or smack its hand and say, come on, get out of here, you're doing the wrong thing. Well, you know that kid's going to get mad. It's going to throw a fit. It's going to start crying. But you do it anyway. You know, because you know it's for that child's benefit. So that's the same way God does with us. You know, Paul Washer, I've heard Paul Washer preach this, and I truly believe he's, a, he's an anointed fiery preacher of God and I've heard Paul Washer say that if God has to break us down into a million pieces if God has to grind us down into the dust I mean if he has to break our will break our bodies break pretty much everything in our lives if that's what he has to do to bring us to him then God will do it because it's worth it because he'd rather break our bodies and our wills and whatever on this earth than to have us have a good, free, happy life here and go to hell. He'd rather do that and save us. You know, that's what's important to God. God only looks at the eternal things. And, you know, guys, the thing about it is, and I've learned this, and I know it's, it's already too late to make a short video, but I'll just have to set up and let this upload. You know, when God, I've had this happen to me plenty of times, guys. When God is trying to tell me to do something, and I go, nah. I, no, I don't want to, God. Or, I'll do it later, God. We've all been there, guys. Admit it. We've all been there. We've all know God was telling us to do something, whether it was helping somebody out, loaning somebody money, doing a favor for somebody, praying for somebody, calling somebody, visiting somebody. I don't care what it is. And what do we do a lot of times? No, I'll, I'll wait. or it's, That's too hard. 
I found out, guys, when God first brings something upon your attention and you know it's God telling you to do it, just go ahead and do it. If we'll do it, then God does not have to chasten us. God does not have to spank our butts, to put it in plain English. But if we keep if we keep rebelling against God or if we keep just not doing something, not necessarily rebelling against him, but if we just keep not doing something he's wanting us to do, sometimes, guys, he has to, I don't know if you guys watch NCIS or not, I do, how Jethro Gibbs has to pow, smack his team, he'll smack them in the back of the head sometimes. God will smack us in the back of the head. I mean, because, but he does it because he loves us. He does it because he wants us to wake up. Hey, dummy, wake up. Quit doing that. You know, I love you. I don't want to see you to go to hell. Or I don't want to see you lose a blessing. So, listen to me. That's what, that's, that's what God's doing. So anyway, Brother Woody, I hope you, like I said again, brother, I'll apologize to you 50 times if, if uh, you know, if you didn't want me to mention this, but I think it's a good learning experience for all of us, and I think somebody will get really get something out of it, probably more than my message tonight, I'm sure. I know the Holy Spirit has, has lined it up. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be real quick here. Since I did so much talking about that, if I can get my e-sword to pull over here, guys, my computer, of course, is trying to lock up on me as I speak. Uh, my e-sword is actually sitting here split in half, showing two, two, you know, two screens. So, okay, guys, let's let's finish. We're gonna finish Second Thessalonians up here. That may we may just do what have we got like three verses left. That may be all we do tonight, since we have talked about proverbs and, you know. Guys, one of the most dangerous things I've seen in churches today is trying to stay by a strict structure and not leading where God leads you. You know, I know churches where they come in, you know, they put it on the board. We're going to sing this, this, and this song. Then we sit down. Then we do this. Then this person's going to sing. Then, then we do this. Then we do that. And guys, I, I don't do that at my church, and I don't do that here because, you know, I come in. I mean, I've got kind of an order that I generally do things in, but. Hey, if God leads me to, to sit to talk for ten minutes instead of doing something or whatever, I do it. And that's the same way here, guys. I think we can learn more about what I've just talked about, talking about God smacking us a little bit, like he does every now and then. You know, I think it was meant for, for for us to mention that tonight. And I do like again, Brother Woody, I appreciate you for that. And I do apologize if you know if if I've offended you by that. I don't think so, because you're you're like me. You just want somebody to learn something about about the ways of God. So anyway, guys, 2 Thessalonians 2, 15, here we go. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle or our letter. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. So anyway, guys, that's a, I know it's only a few verses, but I think we've had a, a good talk tonight. We've been in Proverbs. We've learned something tonight. Some of us have. Uh, we can always learn from God's Word. We'll, we'll continue tomorrow night in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. So anyway, guys, like I said, this 13-minute video with me with this white shirt on, it's probably going to take me all night to upload it. So i got to go, guys. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. Like I said, you guys that see this tonight and early in the morning, please pray for me. Pray for my business. Uh, probably beginning of the week, I'll probably be having to be fooling with that motorcycle, you know, now that I'm getting better and everything. So just pray for me on that, guys. Pray for, just, just pray for us all, you know. We all need to pray for each other. So I love you all. Good Lord willing, like I said, I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night and God bless.